Hi there, it's Bonnie, and today I'd like to introduce you to my colleague, Shauna DeCruz. Shauna has been working on some fabulous mosaic jewelry the past couple of years. In this video, we would like to share with you some basic techniques for creating professional caliber mosaic works, and hopefully you will be inspired to give small-scale mosaic work a try. The jewelry pieces we will be discussing in this video include works using stained glass, another with broken dishes, and an example using a mix of mosaic materials. The jewelry blanks are the surface you build your mosaic in. The rim of the pendant blank is called the bezel. Make sure it is a good depth for what you are designing and the thickness of your mosaic materials. These blanks are base metal and in the description below we give resources. To guarantee proper adhesion, the inside of the blank needs some tooth. Some manufacturers do this for you. If not done, then we recommend scoring the surface with a nail or something sharp. There are some tools that really help the work move along. These spatulas are great for managing the adhesive and manipulating the materials. A good pair of pointed tweezers are essential. Our works are very small. You will need to cut your materials appropriately. Probably the most helpful cutting tool is a good quality mosaic wheel nipper. It is very important the plates are secure. If the plates turn, then you will not get a good cut. In this video, our adhesive of choice is epoxy sculpt. Epoxy sculpt is very easy to work with and available in many colors. We will talk more about the nuances of this adhesive and how to mix it properly later in this video. Let's begin with a work using stained glass. This is a great use of scrap glass. Of course, we need to cut our pieces very small. With stained glass cutting into tiny pieces, it is most efficiently done with the wheel tool. If the design has just a few pieces, I will dry fit directly into the blank. When happy, and this works especially well with stained glass, I face tape my mosaic with contact paper or packing tape, and then gently flip it out. I fill the blank with adhesive and flip the design into it. I remove the tape almost immediately with the help of a spatula so that I can fix any pieces that have moved. For these projects, we are using epoxy sculpt, an air drying, self hardening adhesive. It is an odorless two part epoxy clay. Take equal amounts of the clay and knead together for two minutes. Wear gloves for mixing and do not contaminate the containers. Epoxy is activated when parts A and B come into contact. After two minutes, there should be a consistency in color. Working time is one to three hours and then it cures rock solid in 24 hours. It may be easier to fill the blank with adhesive entirely, allowing for the displacement of the adhesive when you push in the tessera. At the end of the working session, you must clean up any unused epoxy sculpt from your blank surface. It will not come off the next day. There is a special solvent sold by the manufacturer. Now let's make a pendant using broken dishes. 
This is tricky because you will want to find dishes that work with the depth of your blank. Fine and vintage china tend to be thinner, but the colors of some other pieces are just too fun to pass by. Many dishes can be nipped with inexpensive tile nippers. It may be helpful to create a template just a tad smaller than the inside of your jewelry blank. Place the paper under some contact paper or packing tape sticky side up. You can then dry lay your pieces and the contact paper acts as a temporary adhesive. Your mosaic material, your tessera, are very small and this trick may help you better manage things from moving around too much. Once you're happy with your design, you can transfer it into the blank. Now let's make a pendant using thicker materials. This pendant is made with a touch of Smalti and some Mille Fiori. Since this pendant will have just a few pieces, I am fitting them directly into the blank rather than using the contact paper method. Once you are confident of your design, you can mix your adhesive. The adhesive should be about halfway up the side of the bezel. Remember, the tessera will displace some of the adhesive and we are using the epoxy sculpt in lieu of grout. Another trick, if a tile is too thin, you can raise it up with a small coil or ball of adhesive. Give it an extra wiggle to properly seat the tiles. There are lots of jewelry blank styles available. These are unique in that several can be linked together for a dramatic and interesting effect. Circles are attractive. Hearts are always a big hit. Neck chain selection is a personal choice and can be anything from ball chain to a delicate sterling chain or a silk ribbon. It's completely up to you and what best enhances the pendant. There are so many options for materials and blanks and we hope this video inspires you to try some new things and have fun at it. Enjoy making these tiny treasures! Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, life's a mosaic, you pick the pieces!